Good morning, everyone. Cleo and Meadow here. I just wanted to show off my outfit before I head to the shop. So I'm wearing Nick's button down shirt. And then this jacket I got from a clothing swap that I had with my friends earlier this year. It's got like this nice fuzzy interior. So it keeps me very warm, but the cool denim exterior, some black velvet pants. Hello, Meadow, please. It looks like she's sniffing my butt, but she actually wasn't. Um, and then these shoes, got little sockies on. Um, everything that's actually mine is secondhand. Secondhand stuff is kind of the name of the game. <laughs> Even Meadow was secondhand. She was owned by someone else first, so that's that. All right, let's head to our secondhand bookstore now, baby. All right, we're here and we are open. And I'm going to put together a little bin of books to put on the front table where we have our blind date with a book books. <laughs> and these can all be sold for a dollar. So few books actually get sold from this shelf. So I think I'll look through and fill this guy up with them. Okay, so I've got some in here. I'm just gonna go in and cover the old prices and write one dollar on here. So there's no confusion when people check out. All right, I'm pricing all of these books on this table and finding a home for them out here. Same with these carts. I cleared this one off for the most part. I'm also going to pack a quick order and I wanted to show you these cards that a local artist brought in just because they're fun and kind of quirky. This is the first one. It's called Sweet Bride. This one's called Another Face After Midnight. It's called Chicken. They're all blank on the inside. This is Alma's Abstract One and De Lovely. So I'm putting these right in here with our other greeting cards for the time being. Eventually I'll get a separate basket and they'll be more cutely displayed, but for right now, they're all in one spot. I'm gonna pack up a quick order. I hope this envelope is big enough because it's a really big book that's going in here. Well, I guess that's not happening. <laughs> Just got this stack of books in, so I'm gonna price them and put them right out so I don't just add them to the cart. Okay, we're officially closed, but I'm gonna just do some last minute tidying. Carla's coming in tomorrow, so I don't wanna just like leave it like this, but Meadow is definitely jonesing to go home, so. <laughs> Sorry, Meadow, just a little bit longer. Too. She's so fast. Where you go? <laughs> I've got this one all cleared up, so I'm gonna put it in the back. That way, there's only this one cart for Carlo to deal with tomorrow, and then the stuff that's on the table. Yeah, at least I got a decent portion done. I'm a little bummed I didn't get as much done as I was hoping to today, because it was actually pretty busy, which is great. I'm not complaining. But I was hoping to make more blind dates and show that off, but I'll do that on Friday and Saturday when I'm back. Although those days are always really busy too, so we'll see.
Whoa, Nelly. All right, well, we're gonna call it good. I'm just gonna take out the trash and recycling and we're gonna head out. So I'll see you again on Friday. Hey everybody, we're here at the bookshop today and we are going to be packing for the rent fair and getting a lot done just to kind of get the bookshop ready for leaving it. Although it's just for a weekend. As you can tell, we have a lot of books back there that need to be dealt with. But for now, we're going to eat lunch and then get to the rest of it. But let me show you guys what needs to be done. So we have all of these books that are not yet priced and or put out. We're gonna try to make make some impact on this today and then also so we can use these boxes for the room fair. Tomorrow or the next day, we're gonna be getting a shelf. Maybe next week, we're gonna be getting another shelf to replace this table. And this table is coming with us to the Ren Fair. And then this is our easy up for the Ren Fair as well. And then we're going to be packing a lot of blind dates with a book today. We need at least 100 for the Ren Fair. I'm gonna try, I don't know if this is crazy. I'm gonna to try to do like 50 today. We'll see how it happens. This hat um, has officially now been run over by a car, so I think I'm gonna need a new one soon. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> you can kinda see it. <laughs> now for the Bookshop Besties mukbang. Just kidding, that's never gonna happen. And while we eat lunch, we're actually gonna deal with some admin stuff on Square. So we're going to figure that out right now. Okay, so I just finished doing all of our seller identity protection or verification on Stripe and setting us up with a books. And I figured out our Square account, so now we're going to put out some of the books. Oh my gosh, we just got our turtle soup package opened. It is so many cute goodies. We just sold a bumper sticker, which is actually why I opened this. Um, but we've got so many fun things. I'm so excited to show you guys in this styrofoam oh, thank you turtle soup oh my gosh unboxing time Love this. i just wanted to show you guys how cute this is and um, i'm gonna open up some of the things cleo and i are gonna go to the fantasy and chivalry festival in yosemite valley or not yosemite mariposa near yosemite this weekend oh my gosh how cute. Look at these. So we got some of these specifically for this festival. Look at, look. Packaging, amazing. Turtle soup, y'all. Y'all just, oh my, get out of here. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't. It's too cute. Okay. A few, a few just like, a few just highlights. This is how you do it right, folks, by the way.
together the turtle soup sticker box currently. There it is, so cute. I'm going to now populate them with all of this. I need to keep one of each on hand just so I can photograph them and put them in the system, but let's do it. Okay, time to tackle these dirty, dirty floors. Um, but first of all, check this out. We've got our turtle soup bookmarks with a little string, and then we have our turtle soup bumper stickers. I break for the bookstore and I read and drive. And then we have our fun cutout shapes turtle soup. Which one's your favorite? This one's big. It's like good if you want, you know, it to stick out top and bottom. I love the cats. I just love all of this. And my favorite part about their stickers is that they are reversible. So it is printed differently on the back than on the front, which is so cute. Let's see. The cat butts. Oh my gosh, stop it. Attention to detail is everything. And this seller has got it down. This one makes sense because it's side to side. Anyways, and then, oh, then we're going to go in the other direction. And we have oh, sticker sheets. Oh my gosh, so cute. So we get some for rent there. These ones just feel very, cometh at me, brother. Look. So cute. And then this one. Okay, so that's that's so far what we have for turtle soup here. And I just think it looks really cute. This is just, I'm very excited. And then uh, now let's get to, oh wait, let me show you this. Shovel box, we did like one of each. And then we can, or maybe two of certain ones. And then um, we can restock. Ready? I'm sorry how rude of me. This is Rasand. he is one of our, um, like, I don't know, eight vacuum cleaners at this point. He is um, not too small, not too large, right in the middle. Cassian's our big one. And then Azriel's the little like cordless one. So um, Rasan just gets the job done every time. Um, but Azriel and Cassian are more like specialty pieces, if you know what I mean. So anyways, here we go. Okay, so um, I did a little bit of vacuuming. I'm gonna have to leave some for Cleo in the morning just because I'm running out of time and it is date night. Um, I'm gonna hand pick up some of the bigger pieces. As you can see over there, it is not totally done, but it looks a lot better. I think it looks a lot more presentable now. Oh, I'm out of breath from that. Okay, so I'm gonna get to packing some more blind dates. No, I have to go, that's right. I have to go. So I lied, I was gonna leave, but then I was like, you know what? We need to make some more of these blind dates. So here we are, we're gonna do it. Just like, just gonna do like 15 minutes and see how many I can get done. We're gonna replace the roll or at least get the roll ready to be replaced in the paper, butcher paper roller. This is a 300 footer. We've been getting 150 feet ones, but now with the quantity of books that we're making, book packs we're making, we just need to up our ante a little bit. So here it is. Yeah, it's about two feet of paper per book which means we've made like at least 150 which is pretty crazy that is really crazy actually well because we're on our second roll of 150 which you know 300 divided by two is you guys got it 150 so yeah here it is it's like maybe less than two feet even let's get to tear it Plenty of papers now. Check it out. Let's get some folding done. Welcome to the back room. It 
is Friday and so I am back at the shop. We've actually been closed for like 30 minutes. I just ate my dinner and before I go, I'm going to wrap up some blind date with a book packages. I just have these four here that I'm gonna do. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch, but I wanted to get some done because as I mentioned, I didn't get any done last time I was here. So what I do is I take like very brief notes on each book that way, once it's wrapped on the paper, we write up just a very brief, I wouldn't even say summary, but sort of to let people know kind of what they're getting themselves into if they buy one without giving away what book it is. So this one here, a two week vacation abroad. First love, the fewer words, the better, you know? Why say many word when few word do trick? Oh no shattered trust or broken trust Ooh, or maybe i should say betrayal second chances well all right now for the wrapping process okay i'm just gonna get the wrapping done this evening and then we'll do the fun decorating part tomorrow these in a while so that looks interesting but uh that's okay next one will be better faster and it's a little better I don't know it's still kind of loose <laughs> I'll get better as time goes on I have plenty of practice ahead of me we're gonna get like 250 of these ready for the uh, Ren fair which is in like 10 days so oh my gosh that's a lot Tomorrow will be a little more fun because we'll put the wax seal on and fill these little pockets with goodies. So I'll see you then. Hi, it's Saturday. I just got here. We've got like 25 minutes or something before the shop opens. So I'm going to resume these things, decorate them, make them look pretty now. So first we've got to plug in the uh, wax melter gun it's just a glue gun but it works to wax like the to wax to melt the uh wax sticks that we use so we've also got some washi tape Ooh, these are fun a bunch of different washi tapes there's a few more in here even plenty to choose from boom already looks cooler huh Okay, those are done and they look really cute. 
And now that those are out, I actually think I'm gonna make some more because it was super busy this morning and now no one's here. Oh, someone might be coming in. As soon as I have time, I'm gonna make some more. Okay, here's the stack of kids' books. I wanted to have some for really little kids too. And I just think these are so cute. As you can see, our blind date with the book table is getting really low on inventory. And even though our nice packs that we do now that look like, like this, sell better. The little ones in the paper bags are much faster to just throw together. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna put together like eight bags and just put them out there. Okay, next up I'm going to do a classics blind date bag. This wonderful man just brought in a bunch of donations, one of which was Dragonology, which Carla and I were talking about for a long time. We've actually been writing in the dragon runes and relearning that because we were essentially fluent as children and we're starting to assign sounds to each rune so that we can really have our own secret <laughs> language, which maybe is nerdy, but whatever. We will not be selling this. Of course, if we get more copies in, we will, but this is gonna be a treasure of ours. We were talking for a long time about how we were hoping someone would bring this in. And I just wanted to show you, this was like one of my favorite books as a kid, and I'm sure Carla feels the same way. Iconic page, loved this. Loved this page too. And this one. This is my favorite dragon. I had the Dragonology board game and I would always choose this guy as my character. I don't really remember how to play it. I don't know if I ever actually played it correctly because I feel like you had to discover the dragons and you were one of the people, but I was always like, no, I'm, I'm the dragon. <laughs> this is a good page too. Love, love the marsupial dragon, so cute. I always loved this page as well. This is what I wanted my personal desk to look like. But it would be so cool if we could give our front desk area this same vibe. <laughs> Amazing. Hang a bunch of herbs from the ceiling. Nothing better. Alright, I'm gonna go hide this in the back. Okay. 